Welcome back to episode 2 of Democracy 3. Last time we left off doing something, I think, uh, commenting on uh, people doing, uh, or liking us better, and no one really disliking what we were doing yet. So, that that's good. Um, let's, let's see some charts. Okay, so income tax is our main tax that we're getting most of our income from, so, okay. Carbon tax, second. Sales, corporation. Okay, expenditures. What are we spending on? Military spending. I don't like that, but it really helps with unemployment. Well, employment. Yeah, it hires a lot of people. Science funding, not bad. State schools, I don't like that. Uh, state schools haven't been doing a terribly good job. People say they're underfunded, which they probably are, but still. I don't like the state pension either. I mean, basically prevents private pensions. You don't, don't want to put into two pensions if you're an employer. So that makes sense why that, that would degrade it quite a bit. So I'm going to try to lower that. Not get rid of it, but lower it. Make it less of a impact. Um, ooh, small businesses. I feel like I should increase that. School vouchers could also use a nice bump. Small businesses, that uh, I'm thinking, should actually help in employment. So, because more businesses coming up. Um, the failure rate for small businesses is very high. In the early years of trading, a preferential government agent can be an enormous help to get a new enterprise off the ground. This can lead to a big boost to the economy. It can also be expensive policy with no guarantee of good results. Obviously, but you know what? It looks like it's going to help. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, hmm. What else could we get? Alcohol. Wait, what? How are, you, how are we spending money on alcohol abuse? Oh, it looks like uh, our community policing is doing a pretty good job. Let me... I'm going to actually put in an alcohol tax. It's probably going to be a pretty hefty tax, too, if I can. Actually, I don't have enough. <laughs> well, um, let's go ahead and then do these youth club subsidies, which I was for not too long ago. Uh, free youth clubs ensure that teenagers have a place to go, which can help them stay out of trouble and in the long term reduce the incidence of street crime. It can be resistant, re, resisted, resented by some wealthier taxpayers who see it as an unnecessary expense <laughs> paid by their tax dollars. Well, honestly, it is paid by their tax dollars because, well, you're paying the brunt of it. So, but yeah. Um, I think I think I have a pretty that that sales tax. I think I have a pretty lenient uh, income tax right now. Probably not the best, but 31 percent isn't that bad. Really hurts on the uh, middle income, but the wealthiest the wealthiest it affects zero percent on whether they dislike it or not. So that's good. They really and it cuts their earnings by five well six percent, and it cuts middles by four percent, and it cuts the poor by three percent. So, the higher paying, they're definitely paying the most of their actual income. I'd, I'd love to change that, but I don't. I don't think I can, without having some serious income problems. So, carbon tax income shot up. I'm slowly going down. I wonder if that's because of the CO2 tax has just not been uh, bringing in as much. No, I mean, seems like it's really still bringing the same. It's going to be cutting down on, on carbon emissions, though, here shortly. So you need to keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to see if I can just go ahead and add some uh, actual uh, school vouchers. I guess this is automatically increased, but I'm going to increase it to that. There we go. Uh, private schools are really nice. Uh, School vouchers, a measure designed to encourage the growth of private schooling. Uh, whilst 
still enabling everyone to afford an education. School vouchers are issued by the state to parents for each child, which they can then spend in a private sector on education. This is a different approach to pure state schooling because of taxpayer tax credits. The school are privately run and the teachers are no longer state employees. No problem there. And this allows more choice because now you're going to have some more competing schools, right? I'm not really going into uh, why I, I have uh, these decisions in mind, but uh, yeah, I mean, education needs to go up. I'm thinking, again, that unemployment problem is probably a lack of skills problem, so the more education we can get in, the more it's going to decrease poverty, decrease crime, decrease unemployment, increase GDP, and increase health. So th those are my plan. That's my plan of attack. Um, I have five. Is that enough to raise? No, it is not enough to increase the space program. Quick and easy answer to that. Now, I did just increase that, so I'm probably going to lower this in the next, uh, next, uh, turn. Ooh, some of the stuff's paying off. Credit rating just got upgraded. Antisocial behavior is now at an end. Vigilante moms are now at an end. People are liking us. There are cabinets loyal. Good, good, good. Well, we are still at a surplus. So, I don't think I'm going to quite yet. Ooh, ooh. Perfect time. I think we have a stress epidemic. So, I'm going to make the laws balanced and have people not really take a side either way on them. I hope they. I hope both sides really dislike them because that means that they're perfect. Uh, did I get that right? Yes, I got it just right. Dang sliders sometimes. Okay. So yeah, there we go. That was a quite effective turn, I think. Sweet, we are now a competitive economy. I I didn't realize the United States of America was ever uncompetitive. Probably should have paid more attention. Some person doesn't like me on my cabinet. That's, that's probably not good, but oh well. Um, well, environment's still a problem, so... You know what? I'm going to do something radical and put fuel efficiency standards and everything. And of course I'm gonna go on it max. Why wouldn't I go max it out? I'll, I'll, I'll go back and read that. But I'm nah, I'm probably not. I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory what it is. Um, setting legal limits on the exhaust fumes. Yep. Again, this is gonna be great for the environment, and I think it's actually gonna cut down the asthma epidemic and the uh, pollution. So we're gonna be pretty darn awesome after this. Uh, intelligent agency, so that's taking that down. Um, what else can we do? I don't, I don't really feel like arming the police now. Surplus went up. Our our expenditures went down for some reason. Uh, state schools, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, our income went down. This, yeah, it looks like our income went down. I mean, overall, obviously went up, but. Yeah. Three, I'm going to say that's a good turn. Credit rating upgraded. Another oopgrad. Ah, that's what it was from our credit rating upgrading. So now, yes. Now we're making more money and more money. This, this is going good. Very nice, very nice. Can I lower this? No, it takes 26. You know what? I think I might just wait a turn and do some something, some big stuff. I can make a 21 so I can spend three. Can I spend three on anything specific now? That is a good question. <sighs> no, definitely not going to cost me just three. Yeah, I'm just going to go go ahead and lose out on some of the extra points. Internet tracking, the increasing capability of a large corporation to use consumer databases and big, 
data to analyze consumer behavior has led to concerns about privacy. The companies insist that such data is anonymous in many cases and is used purely to provide a better service, whereas campaigners suggest that big, faceless corporations are creating Big Brother style databases of consumers without their consent. I mean, I guess you could avoid this Big Brother stuff if you don't use it, their service, but oh well. Um, but I, I think some things are probably like Google are doing it as well, and I don't want to try to avoid Google, to be honest. Uh, band tracking, this sort of behavior is nothing but sort of creepy as possible and posing potential risk for the identity theft for consumers. Have managed well enough all these years without tracking strong and storing information. Yeah, they they have been doing pretty well. But honestly, advertising is a huge cost and probably not the best thing you want to be spending on your on on in your business. You probably want just customers in, but you want to be making the best product for them, as well as making the most money. Of course, you you want to be making money. Opponents of this internet tracking make it sound fair, more sin more sinister. Then it is all that we are tracking and allowing companies to record accurate information on consumer preferences so that they can make better products. There is no real card for government to intervene here. You know what? Modern economy wins on this one. <laughs> okay, so activists are 1%. Okay, our opponent have no activists. We don't have very many members. We have three million members that that's probably not the best we're, we're very popular though very popular that is uh, some good signs okay we have 42 time to make some big change for our uh, big government I, I don't know maybe not for long um I feel like I was gonna be doing something radical ah ra this looks like radical State pensions down as far as they can go. Not abolishing, taking them down. So I'm only spending 60 billion instead of 200 billion on pensions. This will take well only two, uh, six months. What that means? Three months per one delay. So, okay, the capitalists are gonna like it. Retired, obviously not gonna like it, but they're still happy that they're getting something. Um, the poor uh, dislike it, but still like that they're getting something. It's not really helping to fight poverty anymore. I don't know why it would be helping to fight poverty. Anyway, uh, someone could probably explain that to me in the comments. Maybe it's just that they're, uh, it's saying people on state pensions are impoverished, so those people are now getting something. Um, and look at that. Uh, uh, private pensions aren't going to be affected at all by the 60 billion dollars in pensions that we have so yeah hopefully that creates some private sector pensions and don't have to worry about the government handling a majority of that I can't imagine this is going to be very popular oh well that's fine uh, food stamps fine and unemployment benefits really like to get rid of you if I could. I think that's probably also aiding to the fact of our large unemployment. That's my uh, abortion law. I thought it was maternity leave. Can't affect it. Um, anything else here? Uh, creation versus evolution? Can't do much. And, ooh, this one I could have used three on. <laughs> Uh, I don't re I don't really have a preference on this, but sure let's you know food standards yeah woo minimal minimal nutritional standards could potentially be good farmers aren't gonna like it it's gonna probably increase prices on our our beef <laughs> our, our our sixty pounds a day that we eat of it oh boy oh, that's gonna be nice. Okay, anything 
else. Also, if you're wondering what this is, this is just a, a mod that I made. It, it's not uploaded or anything. I was testing out a, a modding program that's not actually working properly, so this is this would be very cheesy if I used it because it's not affected by uh, foreign trade at all. It affects foreign trade, but it's not affected. So I'd always be getting if I set this the max the 1.1 trillion dollars from it, which be very unfair. Welfare fraud department. You know what? Sure. I feel like I'd be getting more income than that, but I don't know. I don't see how this hurts the poor. I mean, the poor are still going to get their benefits and helps the middle because now the people that are trying to abuse the system and get benefits that they shouldn't have been qualified for are not getting it. So, the fact false claims. So, yeah, that, I mean, I don't see any problem with going with this. I don't know, I don't know why I'd ever make money in my finding the people. I guess that's probably what we're doing. Try to get some of that money that they uh, ripped us off. Probably should. Oh, wow, our GDP is just plummeted. We, we, came up, we, we became competitive, and we went up, and now we're going back down. Oh, global economy is doing pretty bad right now, as is. People still like us. We have a huge surplus. Uh, let's not let that go to our heads. Um, our public schools, I think, is ooh. I have 31. You know what? We have a huge homeless problem. So I'm actually not gonna get rid of the property tax because I don't have enough political capital. Wow. Uh, well, then I'm back to my first thought, which is public schools and reducing that so that I have even more private schools popping up because public schools actually harm the amount of private schools. Okay, environment. Environment's getting better. I thought I added uh, another thing for uh, cars. Maybe I didn't. No, I, okay, I'm not gonna subsidize. I feel like that that's kind of a waste of our money. Well, not a waste, I mean, it, it'd probably be beneficial in some regard, but I don't want to put that on. Uh, standards, okay, and that affects, okay, I understand. That that affects the environment uh, or pollution, so that will lower it through the CO2 emissions instead. Oh, that's what I should have done, the unemployment benefits. Well, no going to click next turn and I'm going to do that first thing. Animal testing. You know what? I think we should just ban it because there's no point in testing on animals when we now have the ability to create human flesh as it is and test it on actual human components instead of these animal components which may or may not tell us anything about how it's going to affect humans. So gonna ban that small deficit how are we losing money I thought I it has to be because of the economy yes that just went plummeting we're not getting as much from the carbon tax so yeah that, that's the major part school vouchers are now costing us twice as much as they I think twice as much I thought they were cost me a hundred billion could be wrong, but you know, with uh, not having as much into state schools, obviously that would be transitioning to the school vouchers. So that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and raise the carbon tax. No, 65 percent. No, gonna have a nice, good number. You know, nice 69 percent. Gonna go ahead and raise that. I was going to uh, get rid of that unemployment benefits, but I think now with uh, that uh, coming up with an income issue, I want to get rid of this debt. I don't want to keep it. So 
so that that's a major concern. Okay, I have 18 political capital. What are liberals really disliking? Uh, tagging. They dislike the homelessness crisis, of course. I I would I dislike it too. Any actually, any of these taxes we can get rid of? Cheap? Nope. Oh, I could get rid of the car tax. I don't know why we have a car tax. Taxing the ownership of motor vehicles is a way to persuade people to use alternative forms of transportation. It can be argued, however, that such a system increases the fixed cost of, of car ownership, encouraging people to use a car more once they have gone to the trouble of taxing it. There is an argument that the tax that unfairly hits the poor and people in rural communities where a car is nece a necessity. Uh, I mean, I guess it would be. Well, I'll leave it. Can I get rid of inheritance tax? I cannot. <sighs> the reason I dislike inheritance tax is because you, the person lives all their life and pays tax on everything they make through their nice income tax over here, and then at the very end of their life, that again gets taxed when they're giving it to their offspring. So I think that that's pretty lame. That it's basically twi taxed twice on the same dollar. Um, can I actually get away? I can get away with just clicking next turn and doing something bigger next turn. Oh, we've ended the skill shortage, ended po pollution. I'm surprised. Credit downgrading? Did we lose money again? We we made money. Rats. I don't know what happened. Man. That that's that's slightly disappointing. I guess I'm not going with a very um optimal build here. Well guys, I think that uh we'll have to do it for today. We're Looks like we're closing up on uh, 23 minutes. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please like, favorite, subscribe if you enjoyed what you uh, saw. And uh, I hope you uh, like that I'm actually getting back into making videos again. Well, thank you for uh, watching and have a great day. Bye.